Hard. It's been an uphill battle, but a Macon teen can now celebrate one year of life cancer free. Sabrina Burr spoke to the 16 year old and Sabrina joins us now in studio. Frank Laurie, it's been a long road for Savannah Walker. She says she had no idea she would battled three different forms of leukemia and win. Savannah Walker is grateful for the day she can be a regular teen and play video games at home because there was a time she couldn't. I hadn't put like two and two together uh, that leukemia was cancer. At only 12 years old, doctors diagnosed her with chronic myeloid leukemia or CML in February 2015. Three years later, doctors diagnosed her with two other forms of leukemia. Everybody else was way more like uh, visibly emotional and I was just kind of there like, well, so what are we doing? The girl with long blue hair at the time says she had no idea the toll radiation and chemotherapy was going to take on her body. Uh, they had me on five or six uh, different kind of uh, chemos and then eventually I had uh, six rounds of radiation, uh, full body radiation. She says she lost her hair, her strength and most likely her ability to have children one day, but she's happy to have her life. I don't know if I would be able to get through everything I'd gone through without my friends and family there. Her mother, Christina Walker, says her daughter's illness was a painful experience that ended up making their relationship stronger. Every day is a special day to have her still with me. Walker says life is too short, so she plans on keeping a positive attitude and taking it one day at a time. And there is uh, clear skies on the other side. She is definitely a fighter. Walker will start the 10th grade at Howard High School in the fall. Frank, Lori. Oh, we wish her all the best. Thanks yeah. so much, Sabrina. She's already accomplished a whole lot. Yeah. She visits the hospital every three weeks still to make sure everything is normal.